people do develop relationships with the entities in their homes. That really happens. Yeah. Oh, Definitely get some close-ups of this. This is insane. Oh, yeah. Sharp. Man coughing, choking. Hey, what's going on? Did you hear it? I didn't hear it. Ooh, like, this doesn't feel good uh, at all. Here. Do you want to harm us? This is one of the scariest, if not the most scary video that we have ever done by far. We received a call from a woman claiming that she had poltergeist activity within her home for many years now. She's actually been living with the presence for so long now that she's given it a name. And due to the various marks and scratches the spirit has left all around her home, she says that she named it Scratch. She claims that in the middle of the night she can hear claws scratching the walls and wandering the halls within her home. However, she's never owned a pet. The owner of the house refused to be on camera for an interview, but she did allow us to stay overnight and film in the house. What we encountered was a poltergeist, evil spirit, demon, call it what you want, but it had a name, and its name was Scratch. kitchen over here. If there's any presence here, I'd you like to communicate. Fresh. What are you getting? Funeral. Funeral? Almost immediately upon entering the house, words just started spitting out of the ovulus. Fresh. Disc. Disc. Did you have a funeral recently? Leader shown. Leader shown. You said fresh. Was the funeral fresh? Oh, whoa, whoa, hold on. I'm getting a reading already. Oh, that startled me a little bit. After visiting so many locations, capturing nothing, it was super exciting to get some activity immediately. Right here. Us. 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 Does that mean that's... That's us? That's us. We're here? It's going nuts. Right here. There's no power outlets anywhere. There's no, no like, power on the wall. Hey, back up a little. Make sure it's not you. Oh, that thing's going crazy. One of the EMF detectors started squealing, which is an indicator that there is some sort of presence there with us. So this right might out, be, this yeah, might be right out room. the gate. Yeah, as soon as we came in. That's the noise it makes. Yeah, it's like it like squeals and makes static. It gets louder as if you get more. Okay, so look, I come closer to the wall, it stops. It's right at that entrance. It's right here. Is there somebody standing here that would like to communicate? Can you make Tanner's Ovilus say anything? Here, come over here with Ovilus. See if you get a spike over here. Is this where you're at? It's kind of fizzling out now. We'll keep moving. Yeah. I can't explain it, but something was different about this place immediately. It's a wild looking place. What's over here? What is this? Just a little room. Just go outside. Oh yeah. Got like a back patio or something. 
That's crazy to get spiked like that as soon as we come in. This thing blips a lot, like little blips. Yeah. But until it makes a noise, I think that's when it's like Actually official. getting a reading. Yeah. Oh. It started to do something right here. Yeah, I haven't gotten anything on the ovulus since we entered the kitchen, or the, it was actually the dining room, but it started going off. Weird rooms, man. Got that old lady vibe, definitely. Yeah. Are you in your bed? No. Oh, no. Thought it was making a little chirp. If there's anybody here with us, just feel free to communicate with us through the devices we have in our hands. If you make your presence known, Casey's EMF detector will go off. If you want to tell us anything, just go ahead and talk me through the obvious in my hand. Oh yeah, look, just get a little tiny blip without any movement. Was this your room? Oh, that was, two, that was twice. Was this your room? Can you make it blink twice if this is yours? No? Is that a no? Okay, I'm taking that as a no. Well, you said, two. is that a no, and then you got two. Is this where you hang out? Shove us. Percent. Oh, this is a wild looking room. Was this your room? Is this where you like to hang out? Can you talk to Tanner through the obvious? Can you slur? What does that mean? We need more than that. We need something clear. Yeah. I feel like I like put it in the bed, like in case it was their yeah. bedroom. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Got a little mini closet. You know I don't like the little closets. They freak me out. Shrimp got three closets. Say small closet. Yeah. Well, that's a bathroom. Let me see. Oh no, it's just like yeah. Just junk in the closet. Oh, what is this? It's not one. Okay. Oh, oh no. Snares. Whoa. While exploring the house, we found a doorway in one of the bedrooms that had a very narrow staircase leading up to what appeared to be an attic. Yeah, that looks fucking creepy. What is this, an attic? Oh. Oh. It's just not anything that clear, you know? Let's go up and see if we, uh, if we get anything up here. We're here to communicate with you. Can you light this up? Oh, that's close. Can you light this up? This things are steam. Oh, oh shit, the big case. Oh, fuck, are you good? That was fucked up. Dude. You all right? Yeah, what was that? Like, I don't know, it's like, I'm like fucking dude. bracing you up. While we were climbing the stairs, all of the devices started going crazy, and then all of a sudden, it felt like something literally just slapped the EMF detector out of my hand. My arm Your shit just like exploded. No, my arm just felt like it got slapped. Casey actually fell backwards. I did my best to catch him. Can you light this up? These things are steep. Oh shit, the case. Oh fuck, are you good? That was fucked up. Dude. You alright? Yeah, what was that like? I don't know. It's like I'm like fucking dude. bracing you up. My arm Your shit just like exploded. No, my arm just felt like it got slapped. Casey actually said that something had swatted the EMF detector out of his hand. All right, I'm coming up. Can you please not push me? Oh, it just says shove us on the fucking Oculus. Yeah. Yeah, no, when we're downstairs. Can you please not shove us? So that was a threat. That's what I think. It's kind of chirping again, too. Oh, what is this room? Scratch. Scratch. Oh, no. 
Scratch. I literally do. Look at my arm. Knowing that Scratch is the name that the owner gave to the entity, when we heard it come out of the ovulus, it gave all of us an extremely eerie feeling in that moment. I just got goosebumps. When the ovulus said Scratch, I felt every hair in my body stand up, like an electrifying feeling of contact with something else. Scratch. She said there's scratches all over this house. She's yeah, when we interviewed the lady, she oh, said- Oh, dude, look at my arm, look. I got fucking goosebumps right now. I feel it, dude. Hey, remember his nickname is Scratch, too. So you like scratching things in here, huh? Yeah, and your nickname was... is Scratch. She was talking about that door that had the scratch dude, marks. Dude, look, come, just come look at this room. What's the purpose of this room? And I'm not even talking like from a paranormal aspect, but why would she have a room set up like this and not even mention it? The way the attic was set up was really strange. It actually seemed like it was set up for a single child with the rocking chair pointed towards the window. Hmm. To me, that feels like she's almost like catering to the ghost. Like, why would you have a room set up like this? And I mean, we don't know this lady, you know? Yeah. So, unless she sits up here, but like, like, this just feels weird up here. You feel that? This is for a kid. That is for a kid. You know what I'm saying? So. This is just looking out into the forest. Bro, I'm like, I'm not feeling this right now. That thing saying scratch, and I got like a heavy feeling up here. This is a weird house, bro. Yeah, I instantly got the cold sweats as soon as I walked up the stairs. Yeah, this is a weird house. It's like, uh, whatever it is, he is, she is, did not want you in this room. Remember when she said that uh, she doesn't have any pets? Uh-huh. But there's like all these scratches all over the house? We noticed there was scratch marks all over the doors and the hallways, and this is exactly what the owner was telling us she was experiencing. There's scratches all over the door right here, too. Well, this is like something scratching to get out. Oh, that's on the inside? Yeah. Oh, look at this one. Dude, she's not fucking around. Oh, look at these. Yeah, definitely get some close-ups of this. This is insane. Every scratch mark, we're all in rows of three. One, two, three, side by side. And they're in, oh my God. They're in threes, too. And nothing on this side. You know they say threes is like a, a evil it's indicator. Already, yeah, scratch. Yeah, I'm already scratch, and there's already like... threes. Wow. Yeah. Well. Guys, I think we just found a, a great candidate for some activity here. Yeah, I know. I was already tense because when we heard Scratch, I know that that name is associated with the devil or Satan. And when the prison light started going off immediately, it was horrifying. So the yes or no prism is a new device that we got this season, and it's supposed to be a directional EMF detector. If it goes off on one side, it'll light up green, which is supposed to be positive, meaning yes. And if it lights up on the other side, it'll light up red, meaning no. And honestly, I've never seen this device going off as precisely as it did in this location. Are you here with us right now? I know this is a room where we were getting a lot of readings. Is this, uh, is your name Scratch? Ooh. That's what? like the obvious hell. yes. <laughs> oh. That thing is oh, insane. So oh, I have so much goosebumps right now in my body. You know what? Let's try a random question. Like okay. a random name. Is your name Elizabeth? Didn't look it. That's pretty clear. Your name is... Is your name Elizabeth? This is crazy! That is a trip, dude. Whoa! I've never, like, seen answers that fucking clear. That's crazy. I'm not trying to bitch out because this is making me feel so weird right now, dude. Oh, this is weird. Even for me, this is a lot. Do you want to harm us? I'm getting sweaty. I already am. Legit, I'm just getting fucking sweaty. It's one of those nights, bro. Yeah, why is it so hot down here? It, 
wasn't though when we came here. No, no, like no. it's significantly hotter. We come in peace. If if we do not try to disturb you or upset you, um, can you be peaceful and communicate with us? That was pretty fucking strong. All right, so let's ask some questions like, uh, maybe try to figure out the origin of it, right? Mm -hmm. Like where it came from. Well, we can ask if it was a previous resident. Yeah. Were you a previous resident in this house? You were. Okay. Were you a physical resident in this house? That is okay. So you want you want to talk to us, yeah. but like for whatever reason, we're not welcome. Yeah. Maybe we haven't so, made our intent clear enough. How about wait, 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 I got a good one, I got a good one. Have you been here longer than 10 years? Yes. Have you been here 50 years? Okay, have you been here since this house was built? No. Were you here before? Did you come here because of someone that lived in this house, maybe a previous resident? Okay, so someone brought you here. Sir Will? Were you were you brought here against your will? Yes. Huh. Was there rituals involved? Okay. Sorry. What's so up? no you're good, bro. Maybe what the hell? There's some resentment and some animosity from what happened, obviously. Yeah. So, like, how do we get, how do we break through? You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Uh, can you make the ovulus say something? What? Did you hear that? That was, that sounded like a couple from... of, like, thuds, but it was, like, here, right? While using the prism, we heard a faint knocking sound coming from the living room, but it was actually coming from below us. Can you see the flashlight? Like I from below? Right here, yeah, I felt the vibration. It was like a thud on the floor, right? Yeah. It, it didn't almost... sound like it was above us, right? Definitely. To not. me, it sounded Definitely. like it was like right it was here. right there. Like it came through like the wall or like, I just felt it like vibrate, literally. Casey had mentioned during the initial interview, the owner of the house had said something about a basement. Oh, she said there's a basement here. We, yeah. Let's see if we can find the big Try to find the access. Maybe it was like- Well, it's definitely not. There's no access from inside. We checked all the doors up here. Yeah. We'll just do a lap around the house. And... Yeah, let's go see if there's anything. Uh, oh, you know what? We haven't gone out here yet. You want to go out back? Yeah. Hey, there's an entrance over here. Said none head through plants, children. Ugh, spiderweb all over me, man. Dude, this whole thing is caked in spiderwebs. <laughs> oh yeah, big spider just chilling on the door. Oh, good. Look at that. Oh. The scratches on the door of the basement were so clearly defined, and the weird thing about it is they were outside as if something were trying to get in. That is so fucking clear. Oh, dude, it's acting, it's acting up towards the scratches. There's scratches all over this fucking door. Let's open it up and see. I'm just afraid to walk right now. I can't see much because it's in the viewfinder. Oh, I don't want these fucking spiders on me. Oh. Hello, hello. Hello. 
washer and dryer down here. Cole, come check out these scratches. That's hardcore. Right that here. is just straight up. That's like someone clawing right, yeah. with their fingernails. Trying to get in though. This is crazy. Dude, it's freezing in here. It's cold. Do you feel that? Can you see yeah, it? Yeah, I just saw your breath. Did you see it? Yes. We felt the temperature drop in the basement, which is usually a huge indicator of some sort of presence. And we even saw Casey's breath for a couple seconds, but then it just kind of seemed to disappear. You can notice it Dude, it's like 100 degrees upstairs and it's ice cold down here. You down here? It's ice cold in here. Oh, dude, what is I'm this? Gonna, gonna dude. While we were in the basement, I noticed some loose bricks in the wall. And the only thing that I could think of was, this has to be some kind of hiding spot for something. There's three bricks loose. Oh, no way, great, great, great. What is that? Oh, they're too tight. Are they? Oh, I don't know. I don't know, man. To Dude, me, that yeah. looks like that could be something. I can see in there. That could be something like someone hid. Yeah. Attached to an entity. Exactly. From, what I'm from the homeowner. Exactly what I'm thinking. Many, many years ago. People do that. Like, they put weird Dude, shit jars of, jars of urine. There's some like, shit. Yeah. Body parts, bones. Doesn't want to move, huh? You can get it in there. Oh, yeah, oh, there we go. That a boy. Yeah. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, Some dude. Shard remains of something. What was this used for? Is that clothing? There's something right here. Oh, what is that, dude? What is that, bro? Oh, it's fucking wet in there. Oh. What? While checking out the hole in the wall, I actually got something on the tip of my finger, and I have no idea what it was, but it was fucking disgusting. Uh, what is that? Dude, yeah, what the fuck is that? I don't know, it's on my fucking hand. Oh, God. What the fuck? Whatever was buried behind the wall looked like charred remains, and to me, it seemed organic. There were flies coming out of the wall. Can we, uh... You should probably wash your hand. Get a glove or something. Or... There's flies. Look. Yeah, that's that's some type of charred remains. There's flies in here too. Yeah, that is charred looking, right? Yeah. What's up with the bricks there? Why does it smell? Do you smell that too? Yeah, it's kind of like dank, almost like. Is that water sour. dripping? I just saw water drip. Hey, you got the ovulus? Yeah, it's right here. What if we stick that bitch in there? Oh, dude, you know what? That's like spores growing from the water. Be careful. Yeah, there's mold in there. I mean, there was scratches trying to get in, and I feel like whatever it is was trying to get in here for a reason. It was cold. it was so cold when we came in here. Look at this thing. We've never done a three-man Ouija board. I think tonight's the night. I personally don't like using Ouija boards. I know Tanner and Casey like to use a Ouija board on investigations, and with my past negative experiences, they all came to mind in that moment, and I was definitely not thrilled to be a part of it. All right, you guys know how I feel about Oh, this is weird, man. This is like, this is a lot. Something definitely felt off in the basement, and with that hole in the wall, unknown remnants of something there, we decided, let's go ahead and set up a Ouija board session down here and see if we can make contact with whatever was present. This is not what I expected. That's what I'll say about that. No, me this either. whole thing. Well, at the very least, do we leave it open for the demon board, or do we set it back up? I say we leave it open. We have to leave board. it open. Yeah, for sure. Sure. like that. We'll put the we'll put the Ouija board here. We'll, we got candles with us. We'll light yeah, a couple whatever, candles. Whatever, whatever that is, though, is majorly concerning. Bro, but it, it feels evil. Am I? Is it just me? No, it absolutely is. Like this doesn't feel good no. at all. Clear. All right, let's do it. Let's grab it. All right. Which way? Clockwise. 
One, two, three. We know there's a presence down here. And we know that you called Scratch. We saw the scratches on the door. This is an easy way for you to communicate with us if you would like to. Can you move the planchette? You can move it to yes or no. You can spell out any words, numbers, anything you like. Upstairs you said you were never a physical presence here. If you're a spiritual presence, can you tell us how long you've been here? Scratch, is there any possible way tonight that you're gonna let us communicate with you in a peaceful manner? Did you guys hear that? It was like a low moan or a voice or something. Did you hear it? I didn't hear it. Ooh. That was Don't hard. Fuck with me. What? Dude, I swear to God, I didn't I did not move that. Don't fuck with me. I know for a fact that I didn't move the Ouija board, and I know these guys take this very seriously. So when they say that they didn't move it, I believe them. I definitely felt it move though. It was like a low moan or a voice or something. Did you hear it? I didn't hear it. Ooh. That was Don't hard. Fuck with me. Dude, I swear to God, I didn't I did not move that. Don't fuck with me. That was rough. That was like a jerk and then it stopped. Nothing now. Can you please continue moving this planchette? This time it moved just an inch and stop, almost as if whatever was trying to come through. Moved it briefly, then just disappeared. You can talk through the ovulus, you can talk through the Ouija board, can you please move it again? If your name is indeed Scratch. You heard that, right? Yeah, there's creaking. Sorry, go ahead. If your name is Scratch, do you go by another name? And can you spell it out for us? So after a while of getting nothing on the Ouija board in the basement, we decided that one person was going to do a blind spirit box test in the attic. I don't really care who does it at this point, but I know that it's not going to be me. After Kay's experience at the prison with the blind spirit box, me and Colton knew that it was going to be on one of us to conduct that test this time, and this time it ended up being me that was alone. The blind spirit box is just a way for us to completely tune out all of our senses so that all we can hear coming through is the spirit box and we can really concentrate on that. Are you the one that left the scratches on this door? One at a time. Are you the one making it cold down in the basement? Here. Dude, it stinks down here. You smell that? Yeah. We started to get a really strong stench coming out of that hole in the wall, and it was like that rotten egg foul smell, which is known to be of a negative energy. That's something that would be more demonic over friendly. We didn't know until after seeing the footage as to what Tanner's responses were. Did it make you mad that we used the Ouija board? Instructions. There's something buried in the rubble. I'm not going to touch it. What's inside this wall? Baby. For the spirit. But when Casey asked about the remnants behind the wall, and Tanner's response was baby for the spirit, my stomach flipped over. Look at this wall real quick. Something was put behind that too. Do you see that? Dude. This is all like fresh brick and like new cement. It's like a huge hole right there. Do you see that? Yeah. One last question before we come up. Is your body in these walls by chance?
Now you look. Yeah, let's go stop Tanner. Let's okay. see if you got anything. All right, for sure. I kept hearing the same voice come through over and over again, which struck me as strange because that pretty much just never happens. What's something weird that I've never heard before on this uh -huh. is it sweeps, but it felt like something was trying to just dominate the entire time. Oh, right. And when stuff would come through, a lot of the time it was the same voice. Oh. Which yeah, you that's, never that's hear. That's something, because I mean, yeah. it's going over different frequencies. You, you never hear that. Voice. You always hear it in different random voices. It's was it a guy or a girl? Guy. 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 And it was yes. deep, like a deep voice. Oh, okay. And it would like, all the frequencies of the entire thing would drop, and yeah. then I would hear a word. And then it would be like, back to normal. What do you guys think about uh, doing like a little recap outside, like getting out of the house? Because yeah. like, being in here is kind of like fucking with me. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to sleep. If we lay down right now, get yeah. some air, anything, like just some be out of here for a second. Go Maybe uh, there's a fire pit out back. See if we can start up a fire. Just chill out for a minute and maybe yeah, sure. talk that's about some shit. Let's recap what's going on here. Yeah. Because my mind is racing. Like everything that's happening, I'm like, I need to slow down for a second. Yeah. You know? For yeah. sure. That's all right. Good. Let's do it. At this point, we're all a little bit stressed out, needed some fresh air, so we decided to set up static cameras and head out back and sit by the campfire. It's hard to break through sometimes on stuff. For sure. And we still have no explanation for uh, that hole in the wall. What you like touched. even out here, just like seeing the house back there. Yeah. It just doesn't feel right. It's definitely a very, very active place. It's not a, it's a negative energy yeah. too like it's not good well and it's no, no. question and the next step is to try to sleep here yeah. like with the static cameras i don't see myself falling asleep in this place i'm gonna try and then finding that door mm -hmm. with those claw marks on it just oh, so yeah. clear too that it was like yeah just like this it was a little bit nerve-wracking thinking that there were scratch marks outside of the house trying to get in which means technically if whatever it was was outside the house we weren't even safe sitting outside at that point. Well, the fact that those scratches were outside the house yeah. trying to get in, yeah. mm. it could be out of here It right seems now. that all the scratches were on the outside of doors. Yeah, and besides I the one room. With the EMF detector. Besides the attic room. We didn't even tell him. Huh, which part? You know how we pulled those bricks out mm -hmm. and there was something like, we thought it was like something hidden there? Yeah. The opposite wall, there's like a whole section of oh, bricks yeah. that are like new and plastered in. Uh, we yeah, noticed it while we were like down there. There's like a foot gap between the wall of the other room. It looks like the weird, like, like something uh, is oh, in there. In the Someone wall. like yeah. covered something in that wall. For sure. And I mean, I don't know if it was like new, new, but you yeah. could tell it was different from when the yeah. house was built. So maybe she has no idea. When we talk to her uh. after this investigation is done, Tell her to have someone come and bust that wall down. Oh, I bet sure. there's something there. For sure. I bet you'll find something in that. The circle right we did there. on the with the Ouija board too was kind of interesting. Yeah. There was a perfect circle that was just re-cemented in the ground. That we were, and there was we were, like a hole in it. Yeah, he like was picking through it. Yeah, it was yeah. just like with a his thin, fingers. Yeah. thin layer of concrete over dirt. I have a feeling that whatever's attached to this house is trapped here by something that's buried in the walls. Yeah. And that's fucking weird. Or I mean, put here Yeah. with that intention. Yeah. You know? Well, you know, it could be yeah. subconscious Maybe she thing. practices witchcraft. I don't fucking know. Yeah, we don't know we her. We don't know her. We don't really know what the owner's attachment is to the entity in the house, but we do know that she's named it. People do develop relationships with the entities in their homes. Yeah. That really happens. Yeah. And it's reciprocated. Like, Dude. the entity may give her zero issues, and then we show up, and he's like, you're not my mom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that type of shit. Like, what if she knows it's negative? And she was telling us to come here, not to figure it out, but like for it to toy with us or something. I thought to myself, what if she was just trying to like feed the spirit uh, victims in a way? What if she just wanted us to come there so that it could toy with us? I don't know, a lot of stuff was going through my head at that point in time. Yeah, you know, that actually is sounding like a real possibility now. Like we're the next part of it? I don't know. Like he said, we don't know her, like... Yeah, we really, I mean, we don't. You know, we get these emails all the time. We follow up with people, but like, if she has a weird relationship, if she does like witchcraft and shit like that, like, she might want us here so it can toy with us. 
Like she's feeding us too. Yeah. yeah. Like we're being fed to it right, right. now. That's yeah, fucked. So I said we go set up the static cameras in a few and um, we'll just go in separate rooms and I'm probably just gonna lay there with my eyes closed for a couple hours till the sun comes up but I'll try to go to sleep. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think it's happening. After finally falling asleep, I was having very, very bad dreams as I remember, and then I was suddenly awoken by the loudest bang. It literally sounded like a bomb went off. When I woke up, my heart was racing and it made me feel even more uneasy to know that the guys heard it too. It sounded almost like a wrecking ball was dropped onto the roof. Whatever it was, it was so loud that it made me jump out of bed and then next thing I know, I hear the guys yelling. Sometimes you wake up here in a boom and you don't know whether or not it was a dream or reality, but hearing them confirming that they heard it as well, um, it definitely let me know that whatever I heard was real. Yeah, I think that was right outside my door, like my patio door. That was like on side, right? Yeah, it was kind of like, it was like literally like right, like right above and outside this, this patio door. Really? Like it was up on the roof or what? After telling the guys it sounded like it was right above my room, we all went outside and I did so very apprehensively. Dude, is there a light out here? Fuck. We got flashlights. Dude, that sounded oh, like a fucking, flashlight. that sounded like a bomb went off, didn't it? That was like on the roof? It had to have been, it was like above, it was almost like right here. Like I heard it just boom. Yeah. But this must have, I don't know. Dude, that was fucking weird, bro. I'm asleep downstairs. Oh my god. Yeah, there's some weird noises out here. For sure. Hold I'll on. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, to... I don't see shit in the yard. Oh man. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Oh, Yeah, you heard that, right? Scratching shit? Yeah. I could hear something running around on the roof, but even while I was aiming the flashlight up at the roof, I couldn't see what it was that was making that noise. And then I noticed the window open. It's like there's something running around up here. Dude, it was like a fucking, like a claw. Like just... Hold on. What's up with that? What? Dude, that was not like that. Dude, something opened that fucking window 100% while we were out here. That opens from the inside. I don't see shit in the yard. Oh, man. Hey, wait, 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 wait.
that somewhere. Yeah, you heard that, right? Scratching shit. Yeah, it's like there's something running around up here. Dude, it was like a fucking, like a claw. Like just... Hold on. What's up with that? Dude, that was not like that. Dude, something opened that fucking window. 100% while we were out here. That opens from the inside. Well? I don't know what the fuck is going on out here, dude. Let's go back in. Dude, That's the attic, right? I saw the screen at the bottom of the steps, it immediately crossed my mind that whatever this was was coming in, not going out. What the hell? That's the screen. Holy oh, shit. shit. The screen was on the bottom oh, of the shit. stairs, no. bro. No, 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 no. How, dude? Look at that. Let me fucking walk up those stairs again. Hold that fucking thing. There was also a light on upstairs when we went to check the attic and I know for a fact that we turned that off before we went to bed and unfortunately this was one of the only rooms without a static camera in it and I felt like we were just kind of being toyed with at this point. Yeah, wasn't me. Uh, I don't feel good about staying. I don't, That's damn sure. I don't want to be here anymore. Yeah, let's just go. Let's go. Yeah, I'm down. Are we three votes? Yeah, where, 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 where are we going to go? We can go grab a hotel or something. I don't, don't want to be here any longer. We were all done with that place. I was ready to get the fuck out of there. I felt like whatever we captured was plenty proof of the paranormal activity there. Come here. Shh. What's up? Is it raining? Oh, I hear that shit too. When we started to head down, uh, the guys suddenly heard water running. Is it raining? It's like water running. It's a shower. No. Water of Sarah's, I'm not sure how, but somehow the shower got turned on and the water was very hot. And I mean, so hot that when we found it, there was steam coming out of the room. What the fuck? You can hear that shit. Yeah. I don't know, bro. How the fuck do you explain that? Uh, I explain it like we get our shit and leave. That's how I explain it. It's fucking hot, too. Oh, it's all steamed up. Wow. Yeah, it's like fucking scolding hot. At this point, everybody was done. Everybody just wanted to get out of this place. There was way too much 
evil and dark activity happening here that none of us felt safe anymore. And on our way out the front door, the thought crossed my mind. This is the moment that people want to see. We got to stay for like one or two more tests because now we know for a fact there's a ton of activity happening here and we can't just bail. I know you're really not going to like this, but I'm just having one of those moments where it's like every time we start getting crazy activity, oh. we always dip. And that's one of the biggest complaints that we have. Do you want to do? Do you want to just do like one last like spirit box, just like static and everything? We don't gotta go blind. We don't gotta do all that crazy shit. But like, maybe we just set it up, just run it for like five minutes, one last time to communicate, and then we feel like for the viewer's sake, you know what I'm saying? Just like one last spirit box session, see if we get anything. What do you think? What do I think? Yes. I don't even want to get the fuck out of here ASAP, I dude. I, I do too, I do too, but I mean... I mean, we'll we can run it, but if we're gonna do it, no bullshit. Like, we gotta do it No, like... let's do it quick. Let's do like right here, right by the front door. We don't even have to go like deep in the house. Let's do it like right here in this living room. Leave the fucking lights on. Turn everything. the static box on. Yeah, we'll leave the lights on. Let's just grab it. Let's, let's just do it, let's just do it. Let's do it real quick yes. and let's go. All right, come like on. real quick and we'll go. Let's run it. Do you want me to keep rolling then? Yeah, Sorry, I just pop yeah, just go in there and we'll be playing. All right. Go ahead. What We know you're here. We're leaving right now. This is the last chance you have to say anything. Tell us something clear. Don't. Either don't or I won't or something. We heard you. Do it. Talk. Temperature. Can you move the temperature? If we get some temperature spikes, that'd be awesome. See how this little light is in the middle at zero? You can move it up plus one, you can move it minus one. Yeah, man, I'm just like zoned out on this thing. The temperature is not a surprise at this point, dude. Nope. I did it. I did it. I just said I did it clear. I know, because you asked it to. Can you do it again? I asked him to. Can you do it again? Yep. Yeah, you can. That's just laughing. Like that just sounded like it's laughing. What? Speak more clearly, please. Let's go. What do you think? One more second. It's already gone up too. Yeah. That's like a common theme, like the heat yeah. and hot. Scratch, you have another minute. I'll look at the time on here. You have one minute. It's trying. It is trying. It's moving it again. Yep. And there's that weird laughing. Dude, I've heard that weird laughter. 
multiple locations when there's like heavy activity. Mm -hmm. That's not good. Solid three. Yeah. Dude, can you see my arm right now? Can you can you see this? Yeah. Can you see the goosebumps? Yeah, like my whole fucking body is goosebumps right now. Come on, scratch. What do you want? Just tell us what you want and we'll leave. We'll leave right now. Give me something. He blood? Said listen, he said listen. Did he? he said blood or listen? said bitch it keeps getting hotter i'm ready yeah, no, no. i think we have enough i think we have plenty we don't need to stay here for another five ten minutes we got tons of shit already here uh -oh. are you guys cool the temperature just went straight from three to four no hesitation this time let's go yeah, okay i'm done here. i'm done so do i think that this place is haunted I think that there's something evil lurking there. I don't think that this is just a regular haunting. I feel like this is more of a poltergeist type of entity, whatever it is that's dwelling there. I feel like everything that went on at the time was affecting me immensely. Like, in my dreams, my mood, um, obviously the sounds that were occurring above me, all of the devices going off that we had. We had contact on literally every single thing. We captured it pretty clearly on multiple devices throughout the entire night. The scratching noises, the activity on the prism, the shower, unexplainable. Something there was definitely trying to make itself be known and let us know that it was there. It was a very scary night for all of us. And I think that Towards the end, we all just wanted to get out of there. It was one of those places where we didn't feel safe anymore. When you think about it, I, I really do think it's pretty likely that this was some sort of setup. I think the owner was well aware of what was going on there. The history behind the house, the owner naming the entity there, the scratches all around the house, the foul smell. The hole in the wall, that's very possible that someone put that there in a dark ritual of some sort to maintain contact with whatever negative entity that they had summoned there. It definitely felt as if we were being put in a bad spot and she knew it. This is definitely a highly active location and I would say that this is more than haunted.